on the particle field, which is probably more appropriately called the uh, Planck field, um, you know, it's these Planck spherical units, uh, which are small electromagnetic oscillators. Uh, and that's what makes up space time. Uh, and how these PSUs, these spherical oscillators, come together is what makes up particles. Uh, and j just as Jamie was describing, you have the uh, a vortex in that field, which is actually um, going away from that perfect scalar geometry organization. Uh, and you're getting uh, a space-time geometry of curvature. And we call these little points uh, particles. Uh, well, one of the things about a highly curved space-time geometry, uh, when you look at uh, the, the Schwarzschild solutions to Einstein's field equations, what those are describing is a tunnel connecting regions of space-time, uh, connecting them uh, in a way that is non-local um, and that the connection is seemingly instantaneous between them. Uh, and so the, pro uh, the particles, the protons are spinning, they're these little uh, wormholes micro wormholes in the structure of space-time. Uh, they're made out of these PSUs that are spinning. They're just a smaller fractal iteration of, of the proton structure. They're all wormholes. And so you've got this vast micro wormhole network where everything is connected to everything else. Uh, and so that means that everything has all the information of everything else. And, you know, that's a a holographic property uh, that if you were to take any point of that system, it would have the information of the whole. 